is critical. I think that there's a number of different things that contribute to what we're seeing as an influx in Milwaukee. In a Q&A session that lasted more than a half hour, this social studies class asked Celia Jackson with the Coalition for Safe Driving MKE about everything from engineering and enforcement to education while talking about the dangerous things they see on Milwaukee roads. I care about it because many people lose their life during reckless driving. Hassan Barkato is one of six students who chose reckless driving as his topic for a required social studies project on political engagement. Eventually, he'll need to write a report on the issue. I thought the, the conversation was good because we got um, the questions we wanted from it. Hassan's teacher, Alicia Dockstader, is proud. It makes me proud to know that they're noticing what's happening in their city and in their community and that they want to learn about it and maybe do something about it. There is a certain etiquette about Celia Jackson called the youth input and interaction absolutely critical. It's really great because you know we get a chance to hear some voices from part of the community we don't always hear from. Hassan told me he reached out to city leaders to ask questions but didn't hear back. I technically emailed the what was the alderman in my city and he didn't get back to me. That's why I asked Celia if she would be up for the task to meet with these students. But with weeks still remaining before the project's deadline, Ms. Dockstader hopes even more people in the community will step up and help these students stay engaged on a topic that's taking a toll on the people who live in our city. If you have students that are emailing you from Pulaski High School, um, don't ignore them. These are serious students about a serious issue, whether it's reckless driving or gun control or what, you know, whatever it might be. All right, Ryan, engagement is key. So did the students share with you any of their own ideas? Yeah, great idea, specifically on driver's ed. They want to see the programs become more accessible. That's a big issue that we've reported on this week with Project Drive Safer, and they also said that sometimes the programs are a bit outdated, so they'd like to see the materials updated to be a little more relevant. There was also a lot of interest in some of the new bills that are headed to Governor Evers' desk as well. We've reported on all of that. You can find those stories at projectdrivesafer.com. All right, thanks, Ryan.